What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back. Yo, guys, we're about to hit a thousand freaking subs. Thank you so much. We're three away. Guys, if you're watching this video, just drop the sub. You're about to witness greatness. We're going to hit a thousand. If you guys like the vid, bro, sub if you are new, man. We're going to give away 10K on this one, just 70 likes. The new content is up. All these cards are looking sexy. All the new cards. And guys, drop 10. Well, let's just drop OGs in the comments because if you sub now, you're an OG to this channel. Uh, drop likes because I'm giving away 10K to a guy if we get 70 likes. I should just say a $10 PSN card because you cannot give away 10K in this game. So yeah, $10 PSN card if we get 70 likes in this vid. Like the vid, so if you are new, bro, OG in the comments for a chance at winning it. Um, so yeah, guys, the content, you guys probably already know it. I'm still going to go over it, and we got big boy packs right after this video. We got two bids coming out today. Uh, the new content is live, and as well as the stub sale. Let's see what they dropped over here. So we got these. We got Josh Bell. We got May flashback cards, uh, redeem vouchers in exchange. Okay, and we got stubs. New stub sale is alive. We got a new event as well, but like Gold Martinez, who wants that? So the event, uh, Future Stars, 25 players. Let's look into it, man. Uh, it doesn't look good, to be honest. Uh, four wins, four one, y'all. Really? You get an exclusive 83 overall. I have a whole 95 team. Who wants this, bro? So the event is worthless. Um, 85 to 89 if you don't pull an 88 or 87 at 12 wins like bruh do you need to have 12 consecutive wins so yeah this event is just lousy 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 players under 25 or future stars in my opinion this event is just disgustingly bad i guess it's going to be good for the fourth inning collection but yo don't do this event. It's not worth it. It's a waste of time, in my opinion. Grind rank seasons. Try to get to the World Series. But that's just my opinion. So, in packs, you guys already know. But we got Devers, Woodruff. We got Neris. We got Dietrich. We got Giolito. Carson Kelly. Frankie Montez. And Brian Reynolds. Honestly, the, most, the card that I'm most excited for is definitely Devers. Just because he hits so many dingers. And Stub Sale. Yeah, this Stub Sale... This is going to cause problems, okay? And if you guys don't know, the auction is going to go super sky high. If you guys do not know, it's going to go really, 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 really high. Um, it's going to go up as much higher as yesterday. I don't know because a lot of kids are prepared for it. Me and Goes both drop bids on it. So the auction might not go too high, but we'll see. 40% uh, off is a big, big difference. And yeah, so after this video... We're gonna go over all the stats, and after this video, we have big boy packs. Get ready for that. Um, yeah. So uh, let's get into it, man. Uh, let's see. So we got the monthly awards. Let's look at Josh Bell. We already bought the packs. We're gonna pop packs right after this video. I did not see Josh Bell. I did not watch the stream. If you guys didn't watch the stream, this is a perfect video for you. Uh, let's see. Where where is it? Collections. Uh, monthly flashbacks. Bay. Okay. So, you collect 15, you get a lightning bat. Josh Bell. All right. So, let's move the face cam to look at all these stats, man. All righty. So, his stats are just disgusting. You got, If you guys didn't see it, I did not see the stats. This card is this... Mm, he is a switch hitter, too. I love this card. Will I be doing this collection? Uh, no. This collection, in my opinion, is the biggest waste of money because... First baseman, you could go buy a 99 first baseman. You could buy Willie McCaw. I don't know, bro. You could just get a million other first basements. And, bro, doing this collection is going to cost you so many freaking stubs. And I don't think it's worth it. So, secondly, if you guys didn't see the Ryu, Rue, whatever, they got a they got an 87 Glaber. They're, here's the Ryu. This card is honestly, I don't think it's usable in Diamond Dynasty. And I'm going to tell you why. First off, his velocity is trash, okay? Second of all, his home runs per nine is trash. So they really did not give this guy a good card after how good he did. He went 5-0 and this month, and they gave him this card. I think it is just disrespectful, man. This card is high-key trash, in my opinion. Don't recommend it. Next up, we got Ryan Pesley, Relief Pitcher. Okay. This card is actually filthy. I'm not going to lie. Relief Pitchers, bro, with that curve and that slider, forcing with the heat. 
I honestly love this card. And the home run per nine is really, really high. So, you know what? I'm not going to lie, man. This is a good card. I recommend it. Devers, if you did not see the Devers stats, bro. Devers is a beast. Look at the hitting. I'm. This is a perfect pitch hitter, in my opinion. This is a perfect starter, in my opinion, as well. If you, like, literally, um, I just, I'm in love with this card. Literally, I love Devers. His defense sucks, but you know what? I bet you he'll hit mad dingers, and I, he definitely will hit mad dingers. Next up, Glaber Torres. Holy crap. This guy absolutely destroyed the freaking Orioles. Destroyed. He has, like, what, 11 homers against the Orioles? So, power versus righties is filthy. His power versus lefties is filthy. His contact versus righties is good. And freaking lefties, amazing as well. So, mm, this card is nice. He's got really bad fielding. I don't know why. He's not the worst fielder. His speed sucks for some reason. Realistically, I would use him at third base because of his speed. But yeah, this card is pretty beastly hitting-wise. Next up, we got Woodruff. Freaking, he's, like, this card gets me tight, okay? His home runs per nine is 66. That's botched. I mean, home runs per nine means a lot to me because I have 99 Verlander and I just played a game with him and he gave up four home runs and it's a 99 Verlander. I cannot imagine an 87 overall diamond what he would do with the 66 home run per nine. This guy is, this card is botched in my opinion. I mean, the speed's good, but bro, the home runs per nine is going to kill you. The velocity's good, but other than that, bro, this card's dangerous. I think it just reeks of getting destroyed. So yeah nearest this car is good i like it he has good home run per nine he has a splitter okay he has the four seam and two seam against righties he might be one of the best pitchers against righties he has the heat inside and he has the splitter you could throw the splitter away a perfect pitcher against righties against lefties it might be a little scary but yeah i recommend the card next up we got dietrich bro this guy's a beast i'm pretty sure he had three home runs in a game power versus right is crazy honestly looking at the stats his fielding is pretty ass I'm just going to say that his power versus righty is good. And I would just use him against righties on, uh, what's it called? On, uh, as a pitch hitter. I would use this car as a pitch hitter. I would not start him. He's not worth it. You go get 99 Joe Morgan for 100 uh, reward. Not worth it, in my opinion. Next up, Ordozzi, bro. This guy had a great, great, great month. Uh, To be honest, do I like the card? No. His home run per nine is low. His four seems slow. His two seems slow. In my opinion, this card is absolutely atrocious. I will not be touching this card. Next up, we got Giolito. Okay. This card is pretty... It's okay. Okay. Home run per nine is about the same as... What's his name? Oradozzi. Oradozzi, whatever. Oradizzi. Um, I'm just going to use him because I'm a fan of him. I He's a monster. He's 6'6". Six, six. To be honest, this card's better than Oradozzi and Woodruff, in my opinion. In my opinion. Make sure. Uh, I think this card's pretty decent. Carson Kelly. Supposedly did amazing. I don't even know who this guy is. Just found out about him now. Uh, he did amazing. He had 365 home runs, 10 RBIs. Uh, yeah, the stats are pretty deadly. Next up, this guy. Joe, yo, this guy had a game. Uh, I forgot what he did, but I think he had three or two home runs in a game. He went off that one game. He had a great month, supposedly. And the stats are decent. Good budget card. Defense is pretty bad for a catcher. Yeah, not a bad card. Next up, Matt Soroka. He deserves this card. He's been pitching gems left and right. Uh... 95 fastball two seams there curveball change he has a pretty decent he, he's actually really good a good budget card 79 72 home runs per nine he's actually not bad at all all righty so the silvers i'm just gonna go through these quick Ch uh this guy is literally only good for speed the hitting's bad i'm just gonna say speed good drum um wow he could play every position on the field so you need a utility player budget utility player not bad good against righties this guy did all right. Al Contreras, he's all right. Uh, the homers for 967. I mean, I feel like this card just pointless in my opinion. Next up, Delmonico. Good against righties. Good budget pitch hitter. That's about it. Literally, good budget pitch hitter against righties. So, Mike Fires. He pitched a no hitter. Stats are trash. The home run per nine 63. Mm, disgusting. Uh, don't like this card. The, the velocity is. Bartolo throws harder. I don't recommend, bro. Brian, uh, Brian Reynolds, pretty good. All around, pretty decent. I would say uh, 62 speed. A6 power. Yo, this guy's pretty good. Good budget baller. A6 power versus lefties. Really good against lefties. I will recommend it, honestly. All right, Montes. All right, this is why I like this guy. First of all, his home run per nine is really high. The speed is there. I, I really recommend this card, especially if you need budget pitching, bro. 
He will be on my budget squad for sure, man. For sure. Michael Chavez. All righty. His power is godly. His fielding is decent. This card is also a budget baller. You will see him on my budget team. And honestly, guys, that's all I got for you. Uh, stay tuned for my pack opening. The stub sale. If you guys are watching this, baby, the stub sale is about to be wild, man. Um, the stub sale, if you guys are watching this, make sure that you guys know new content is dropping. And the new content, everything's going to go up in price because of the stub sale. So get ready for that. If you guys have cards, I'll go ahead and sell them right now. And honestly, that's all I got for you. Uh, yeah, so be sure to sell your, just sell all your diamonds. You're going to make a ton of stubs. Um, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Peace out. I hope you enjoy. We're about to hit 1,000. Let's go. Hey, yo,